So hello my dear students and learners. In my previous lecture video, I have discussed about the variables that can be used in C language. We have also discussed about the rules and regulation through which we can naming a variable. What are the restrictions that we have to follow? And today I am going to discuss an important topic that is called characters, identifiers and keywords or reserve words used in C language. Okay, so first we will discuss about the characters. So, in C language, there are several types of characters that can be used. Number one, each alphabets. So, there are two types of alphabets that can be used in C language. One is upper case letters. Upper case letters and the upper case letters which can be used in C language is from capital A to capital Z, which ASCII value is from 65 to 90. The ASCII value of capital A 65 and the ASCII value of capital Z is 90. Okay. Now, apart from uppercase letter, lowercase letter can also be used as a character in C language. The lowercase letters which can be used are ranging from small a to small j and its ASCII value varies from 97 to 122. So the ASCII value of small a is 97 and the ASCII value of small j is 122. Now apart from these alphabets, it also accept digits and digits can vary from 0 to 9. So these 10 different digits can be used as a characters in C language. Okay. Now, apart from this, so special characters actually can also be used in C language. So the special characters there are actually 30 special characters are there. 30, 3, 0, 30 special characters are there. And the special characters are for example plus, minus then asterisk, uh, then slash, then backslash, then percentage, then this is called vertical bar, uh, this is still symbol, this is question mark, this is exclamation symbol, then comma, then full stop, then semicolon, then colon, then apostrophe, then double condition, then equals to, then open parenthesis, then close parenthesis, okay, uh, open parenthesis, this is open parenthesis and this one is closing parenthesis, okay, then open bracket, then closing brackets, okay, then open set bracket, close set bracket, then underscore, okay, then dollar, then caret symbol, then less than, greater than, okay. So after that ampersand and hash symbol. So these are the 30 different special characters which can be used in C language. But uh, all these 30 characters will not be used, only one characters that is called this, unders this underscore, this one. This underscore can only be used inside a variable name or inside a function whenever you are giving the name of a variable or function only this special character that is underscore can be used but these special characters are available in C language you can use all these characters for another purpose for any other purpose but whenever you are give, naming a variable or function only this underscore symbol these special characters can be used okay. Now, so these are the characters which are available in C language. 
Now the next one is identifier. Identifier. Now what is identifier? An identifier is nothing but a name. Okay. It can be a name of a variable. It can be name of a function or it can be name of an any special uh, symbolic constant. So it actually identify those things and it consists of uh, several characters, several letters, digits and only special characters that can be used as an identifier. It is the underscore. So identify is basically, basically kind of variable name you can say. So uh, for example, uh, capital A DD add. So it is a valid identifier name. Identifier can start with a capital letter. It can start with a small letter. It can start with an underscore symbol. Okay. So all of them are valid identifier name or it can be like that add then you can add some digit after that so it is a valid identifier or you can uh, write add one two three four so all of them are valid identifier there so identifier is basically identifying the variables or functions or any symbolic constant for symbolic constant suppose uh, you are using a macro like that has defined has defined uh, max 10 okay so here uh, I have already discussed in some of my previous videos that this is uh, a precursor directive so starting with the half symbol so we are defining a macro here okay and the name of the macro is max and its value is 10 so whenever in the program uh, this max symbolic constant will be found it will in whichever place it will be found it will be replaced by the value 10 directive okay so this is called the macro or preprocessor directive so uh, these are basically the examples of identifiers okay now we will discuss about the keywords that can be used in c language so keywords or reserve words reserved words now from the name you can easily understand that the reserve word means those words have already been reserved by the compiler. So these words actually there are 32 different keywords or reserve words available in C language. So these reserve words cannot be used as a variable name or as a function name. Okay. So these words have already been reserved. Okay. So there are 32 different keywords are available in C language. For example, uh, auto external static register auto external static and register so these four keywords actually used to declare the storage class of any variable so along with the data type this storage class are also used so we will discuss in in the upcoming videos about the storage class of c language then uh, default okay so for example default so this is the keyword which will be used in switch case then volatile then uh, struct union then type def uh, then enum next one is go to then size of okay then break continue return then void then character integer float double sort long signed unsigned okay then if else switch case do while then for and then cunst const okay so these are the 
थर्टी टू डिफरेंट की वर्ड्स विच आर मेनली यूज इन सी लैंग्वेज सो इन सम कंपाइलर देर मे बी मोर देन थर्टी टू की वर्ड्स बट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द सी एटी नाइन कंपाइलर वेर दिस थर्टी टू डिफरेंट की वर्ड्स विल यूज सो दीज आर द रिजर्व वर्ड दिस वर्ड हेड ऑलरेडी बीन रिजर्व बाई दिस सिस्टम सो यू कैन नॉट फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू कैन नॉट डिक्लेयर एन इंटीजर वेरिएबल लाइक दैट इन कैर सो इट इज incorrect statement because the variable name can be cannot be a name which is already a keyword so care is already a keyword or reserve word so we cannot use them as a variable for it similarly uh, you cannot write that uh, struct you cannot declare it like that struct uh, break uh, like that so you cannot write it because break is already a keyword so it cannot be Uh, used as a uh, structured name, so break cannot be used. Similarly, whenever we are defining some functions, suppose the return type of the function is void, so you cannot give the name of the function as do. Okay, so it is also incorrect. It is also incorrect because do is a keyword, so this keyword cannot be used as a function name. So these are the thirty-two different keywords mainly we will use. So. uh in my upcoming videos i will discuss each and every keyword with the help of some program so that it will be clear to all of you so my dear students today i have discussed about the characters identifiers and the keywords or reserve words which are available in c language so i hope that you have understood the concept of the topic okay if you have any query or if you have any kind of suggestion you please feel free to post your queries on the comment box thanks for watching please take care have a nice day Thank you